and welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to do another First Impressions Friday and we have the pretty vulgar mascara and lash primer. This is actually a product you picked out that you wanted to try. I did because I was really interested in the lash primer because it's actually a black color so most of the lash primers that I feel like you see on the market like the L'Oreal one and the Lancome one are the most commonly common ones that I've seen. They're both white so I was really kind of fascinated by the fact that this one was black and I figured well if you're gonna try the lash primer you have to try it with the mascara that it goes with, right? How are- oh, this one's gold, this one's rose gold. gold. I was like, how are you supposed to tell which one is which? It also says it on the bottom. So this is lash primer. Yeah, I've been hearing so many things about Pretty Vulgar since they launched on Sephora a couple months ago. Um, and their packaging is so beautiful. It's very, like, ornate and detailed, and I feel like they put a lot of like time yeah. and, and it really money into designing it. It reminds me of like old Hollywood, like. Oh. So wait, this one's the primer. No, that one's. Oh, this is the mascara. mascara. Oh, the feathers. This is the primer. That is the weirdest brush I've ever seen. That is it's weird. Like flat. Then the mascara has this curved brush. Yeah. All so right. Before we start, I need to curl my lashes. Yes. I need to curl my lashes as well. Let's do that. And I just hope I'm having a good lash day. Yeah. Okay. I know sometimes you just have a good lash day, and other times you just have like crappy lash day. Sometimes my lashes just don't like to cooperate. I don't even know how to use this. Like, do you use the thick brush bristle bristles or the little tiny one? Oh, I don't know. Maybe try one and then see. This I'm is also terrifying. Wishing that I had my, I have like a, my Morphe like metal comb, like lash comb. Oh. That I'm wishing I had with me because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. This is terrifying. I don't know why. So that's one eye. You want to try? I think I'm gonna do one eye first of everything and then show you, show the difference, the difference. see the difference, and then. Okay. okay. Does Ooh. this need to like dry at all? Like, are there directions? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of dig the comb because. The conditioning primer is formulated with vitamin E to keep your lashes healthy and moisturized. Hmm. You can put it on, and the, la the comb gives you nice separation. So I was using the bigger side, I think. Yeah, that's what I used. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a coat of mascara and try and see the difference. Okay. I feel like it looks like I have mascara on. Yeah, just no. the primer on. It definitely did. I'm gonna put some on my bottom lashes too. Maybe that's what the small comb is for. Can you see that? They're definitely like super whoa, but I feel like it's a tad clumpy. Yeah, that's why I'm wishing I had my little comb, like separator comb. Yeah, I feel like if I had been uh -oh, a little bit uh -oh. more careful with the. Here's some mascara. So this is my lashes. You can definitely see them more on this side, I think. So this is my lashes with just the primer. This has nothing on She has better lashes than I do. I feel like they're pretty good. Okay, let me be a little bit more careful. I'm gonna go through with the big comb first and then the little comb after to kind of smooth it. See if that like makes it a little less clumpy. Uh-oh. Look, they're clumping. Yeah. I don't know too if it's just because it's new, so there's so much mascara on the wand. Mm -hmm. So my like, this is a very initial first impression, is that I really like the primer. I don't know if I love this mascara, so I would actually be really interested to use, in fact maybe I'll do that on my other eye, is use the primer and then try a different mascara. Oh, that's a good idea. Scratch that, I don't have a different mascara with me. <laughs> 
So never mind. We're not doing never that. mind. But that. But that I am. Been. That would have been good. But I am interested to try this with like my Kiko. Yeah, I feel like my lashes on this eye that just have the primer on them look exactly the same. Like you can. Oh. Um, like look at them. I have mascara and primer on this side and only primer on this side. Yeah, the mascara doesn't add much other than clumps. Yeah. I think. But the pri but I really like the primer. I just made a messy mess on my bottom lashes. <laughs> I never put mascara on my bottom lashes. It always gets so out underneath my eyes. Oh well. Alright. Primer, primer. Going into eye number two. Yeah, it's just so clumpy. Yeah, it's really clumpy, but I'm, I really I love like the primer. Like, look how clumpy this eye is. I mean, it's not you, awful, but like, it looks oh. like I have, it looks like I have, look at that. It's like oh. squeezing out. How am I gonna fix that? Um, with a wipe, like wipe off the. It looks like I have about five eyelashes because they just yeah. like all clumps together. It's also, like the packaging is cute, but it's super messy. I've never had a mascara like do that that badly. Oh god, it's gonna get all over the place. Okay. Okay, and I okay. Note to self on primer, you can put too much on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So dial it back. Yeah. Be careful with the primer. It's very good, but you can run into trouble with it. <laughs> oh my gosh. But do you wonder if the mascara, like, maybe it's because the primer is just like, because you know if you kept layering mascara, any mascara, mm -hmm. you kept layering it, it's going to clump, like that's yeah. what it's going to do. So it's sort of hard to know, is it just the mascara, is it the primer, and then you're putting mascara on top of it, so you're just like layering all this product yeah. onto your lashes that's, that's causing it to clump? I don't know. It definitely made them longer though. The primer's good, I think you have to use it sparingly, but the mascara, I'm interested to see what the mascara does by itself. Because, yeah, maybe the layer right. of the both just is a little too much, especially when it's a new tube, because, you know, you always get more product on it when it's fresh and new. Um, I don't know. It's definitely, like, extremely black, I feel like. I feel like it's yeah. really dark, which is nice. It's definitely something that I'm intrigued by that I want mm -hmm. to keep playing with and in different combinations with the primer, with the different mascara, this mascara with no primer. Also, to be fair, I'm not a huge fan of the curved brush. No. I just don't know how to use it. Yeah, I, I, I don't either. I, mean, I like I the ones that are like the Better Than Sex mascara or the Kiko one that's like curved on both sides, but it's not like an intense. It's almost like an hourglass kind yeah. of shape to it. I think the new L'Oreal one is like that too. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. I'm so excited. I know, we have one. a first impression coming on that too, even though you're probably sick of that mascara, but we are so excited to try it. Okay, okay. I just, yeah. I just need to stop. Just <laughs> so overall first impression, um, the primer is good sparingly, as we learned. Yes. <laughs> um, the mascara is something I feel like we might need to keep trying by itself, so I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited to try the primer with a different mascara to see yeah. if I like it that way, because I'm, I'm, it's not like a total bust. No. I just think it needs to be played with a little bit to find the perfect combination. And do I think it's the type of thing that you need to go out and buy both things right away? No. But if you're intrigued by it and you're looking for a good primer that's not white, then yeah, I maybe check it out. For me too, a lot of times when I use oh, mascara on my nose, when I <laughs> use primers, it can my lashes don't like to curl. Like they're yeah. like just naturally they like are straight. So sometimes with the, I know the L'Oreal, the Lancome one, not as much, but the L'Oreal primer for sure, they, it's like too heavy and they like immediately fall and they don't, my eyelashes don't seem to be doing that. No, they still look So cold. that's another good. This eye looks much better than this one. This is the second one I did and I don't know what, I put too much primer <laughs> on. So the primer was already clumped and then I just layered the clumpy mascara on top of the clumpy primer and it's just. It just didn't end well. Bad news, bad news. But yeah, I mean, this side doesn't look bad. 
No. And it seems to have dried also. Yeah, it dried really quickly. And it's not getting under my eyes yet, so... And then it's, they're dry, but they're not, like, crunchy to the touch. Like, mm -hmm. they're still soft. They're soft. Which I feel like this that one's not... Too. This one's not dry yet, because... I got, I got a lot of layers. <laughs> Struggling today. Layers. So, but yeah, that was our first impression of the Pretty Vulgar Primer and Mascara. So let us know if there are any other products that you would want us to test out for a first impression. Absolutely. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so that we know that you like these types of videos. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.